do not make these mistakes with omnichannel routing in Zendesk. Omnichannel routing is a feature from Zendesk aimed at democratically assigning tickets and workload to your agents across your support team. You can make this assignment based on capacity for each agent, the skills they have, whoever is online, and a round robin distribution. These are some of the options that you can use in order to distribute workload across your team. Everybody's kind of afraid of it because you go from a classic way of assigning tickets, either a person is hawking tickets and assigning them to the correct groups, or you have some business rules that are listening to tickets based on some specific criteria. And from there distribute the workload according to whoever needs to do what. And by the way, I have a past video on how to configure omnichannel routing and I will list it here and it will also appear in the description of this video. And by the end of this video, I hope I can boost your confidence with some tips that we've come across by being in the trenches and enabling this wonderful feature for many of our clients. By the way, my name is Dominic. I'm a customer experience enthusiast. I've been doing it for 15 plus years. I'm in my 11th year as a Zandas consultant. So here's some juice, some stuff that I'm passionate about. Tip number one. Don't forget the tickets will be automatically reassigned to whoever comes back online in the status pending, on hold, and open. And on this note, if a customer replies to a ticket and nobody's online, the ticket will be automatically uh, reassigned to the queue. So it goes to the back of the queue and it follows the same type of configuration that you do based on capacity, skills, run robin, etc. Tip number two. If you use multi-tier support like tier one, tier two, tier three with omnichannel in Zendesk, don't make the mistake of applying omnichannel routing to all of these tiers. It's a better practice to escalate and de-escalate for higher tiers. You can use two macros for this and I can show you an example on my screen here. So like this, if the assignee is no one and then you can add some tags, escalate, escalate to tier two and then give some instructions in a private note. So the person that looks this up knows what they will need to look into and then change the group to tier two, tier three. And then you remove the tag omnichannel routing. So this way the system just ignores it and doesn't assign it to uh, so this way, the system just ignores it and doesn't assign it back to the queue or anything else. And you apply a similar macro to de-escalate in this case. Now, this allows you to use omnichannel routing in Zendesk for only specific groups. Tier one in this case. This is just to reduce your headaches. Tip number three, don't assume you have to set the same capacity rules for all of your groups. Remember, you can set different capacity rules for your different groups. Now, if you can see my screen, I have three groups here and uh, I have different capacities. For example, for my default group, email seven, messaging three and talk one. And then group two, I have email eight, messaging five and talk just one. And then for group one, uh, I have a different capacity set. Now, why do you want to do this? Well, think about it. Not all customer service requests are created equal. Some are more basic and can be handled by the general group support, let's say, and can be solved easily, maybe with an article, maybe with a simple answer, and it's done. But then there's more complex one, like, hey, I have a bug, I need to escalate this, so I'm escalating a bug to, for example, the dev team. The dev team has to ask more questions, they have to do some debugging, they have to look at the code, they have to perform a bunch of actions. Same as, for example, for a finance inquiry or a billing inquiry, somebody has to go into the back end, they have to talk to the bank, they have to do some certain things. What I'm trying to say is these people need more time to focus on resolving a case, which resolves in then having a lower capacity of taking on requests. So food for thought. Tip number four, don't forget to use the live performance by channel feature. You can find this in Zendesk Explore and it helps you track what your agents are doing. How are they performing? Use some filters to spot agents that are maybe not keeping up. By default, this only shows you agents that are online. So don't forget to filter by agents who are away or transfer only. Don't forget to open and close this tab in order to see all the most recent data. Tip number five, in Omnichannel routing, it's important as an admin to have a view dedicated to yourself to monitor tickets that might slip through the cracks. This omnichannel feature from Zenesk is wonderful in itself, but it isn't perfect. Sometimes tickets slip through the cracks and it's good to have a spyglass to pick these tickets up and assign them. A consultant friend of mine actually made a nice analogy about this and he said, Dominic, the omnichannel routing is like a black box in a plane. 
you don't really know what's going on in there but if the plane crashes you can just go and see what the hell happened but you can't really open it and break it apart and see what's going on because it's like a box it's like a system in itself which is built like a, an engine of sorts and uh you can't really do much with it so that's why you have to keep an eye on it to stay ahead of the curve the best tip that i can give you in using omnichannel routing in zandesk is don't be afraid of it i see people writing to me and clients coming and saying oh my god this is so scary we need it because we've been doing things so manually and we just need a break we want something to handle our routing for us and uh we just we're just afraid and what if what if something breaks what if the system explodes the anxiety of this feature is also seen in the people taking weeks and months to prepare for it nothing's gonna happen in the worst case scenario you will just return back to how you do things now you just turn it off that's it now in order to help you with this i have made a setup video which you can see here i have made this tips video for the mistakes you can avoid when using omnichannel routing and that's it if you still need hand holding we are zendas premier partners and we do this every day hop on over to roca.work pricing and choose a package that is good for you all right if you like this content please like and subscribe to this youtube channel i'd be really grateful and I will see you in the next one. I hope this brought you value and make sure you eat a cupcake. Bye.